Hello everyone. Today's video is a special video wherein I wanted to share something about my recent accomplishments. This is an accomplishment that is something that even you can reciprocate. So without wasting any further time, let me kickstart the video by highlighting what all you should do in order to accomplish this particular certification or accomplishment. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video. Let me start the video by showing you what I have accomplished very recently, which is what I kind of introduced in the initial part of the video. So I've kind of acquired a new certification called as GitHub Actions. This has been issued to me. I kind of cleared the exam on 11th of August 2023 and the entire certification is valid for three years. Why is this exam important? What all should I prepare in order to appear for this exam? Is this exam or certification really beneficial? Well, I'll talk about all of this in the next section. So let's move forward. You can think of GitHub Actions as your automation assistant, wherein you can automate multiple tasks using GitHub Actions itself. So when you create a software solution, it's highly likely that you push most of your code, if not all, to GitHub. Now, if you want a CI-CD based solution which can automate the entire continuous integration as well as continuous deployment process, then GitHub Actions come into picture. It's basically an exam to test out how well do you know GitHub Actions and how you can kind of use GitHub Actions in your workflow. So this is the website. I'll kind of share the link to this particular website as well. Firstly, in order to give this particular examination, you require a valid GitHub username or a GitHub account. Secondly, not everyone can give this particular examination. Your organization should be able to support you for this particular examination. So this is the other catch for this particular examination. But overall, if you ask me my experience, it's been a very good enriching experience in terms of the exam that I had given. The overall exam is multiple choice question based exam. Based on the exam that I just gave, the overall exam had 75 questions. And there were four major sections to this particular 75 questions. The first section that you see here, which is author and maintain workflows. This alone constitutes around 40% of the overall questions that you see in the examination. The next piece is consume workflows. So this particular section contains around 20% of the overall questions that are there in the exam. So you can think of around 15 questions that can be populated from this particular section. The next section is author and maintain actions, which roughly have around 25% of the questions. So you can think of roughly 20 questions can appear from this particular section. And then finally, you have manage GitHub actions for the enterprise, which is our final section that you see here. This contains around 15% questions. The most tricky part, if you ask me, is the final part. It has good, really tricky questions which you have to think through before answering. So uh, these are the four major sections in terms of how the overall exam is structured. You will have good, simple questions which are like really direct and straightforward. And you will have really good thought provoking questions as well. So overall, if you ask me at an exam standpoint, it's very testing. It's not very simple. It's not a simple exam wherein you can just read for a couple of weeks and then give the exam. You require hands-on experience to understand the nitty-gritties of how GitHub Actions work. The good part about Microsoft and GitHub is that they've given you a curated learning path as well. So here you would have different sections which kind of constitute the four major sections that I've already mentioned. So you have the first module which is automate development task using GitHub Actions. The second module is build continuous integration that is CI workflows by using GitHub Actions. The third module is leveraging GitHub Actions to publish GitHub packages. Again, a very important concept that you should really uh, focus on for your exams. Then the fourth module is create and publish custom GitHub Actions. The fifth module is build and deploy applications to Azure by using GitHub Actions. And finally, you have a section on managing GitHub Actions in the enterprise. So overall, if you go through the entire series or the entire collection that's there, you will get a fair sense of how the overall GitHub Actions workflow is. And then you can also refer to GitHub documentation for more in-depth understanding of how a particular action works. Or if there are some queries that you have, 
then a good handbook that i used is the github documentation website so just to give you context this is the website that i'm referring to so this is the github documentation website it has everything that you require i wouldn't recommend that you go in depth of understanding every piece of information that's given because that would be a bit too overwhelming for the exam what i did is if there are certain aspects of uh, a particular concept that i've learned in the previous section and if it's not clear to me then i kind of refer to this particular say documentation to understand it in more depth i've also used various resources to understand github actions in more depth but there is one book that i really like which i can kind of wholeheartedly recommend as well for your github actions preparation strategy so i'll quickly share that book across as well give me a moment so this particular book that i'm showing you right now hands on github actions implement ci cd with github action workflows for your application this is a tremendous book for you to kind of understand github actions it's kind of laying down the foundations in very simplified manner so this is one book that i referred extensively i kind of uh, say used the kindle version of the book so you can kind of purchase the paperback version of the book as well or if, if you're comfortable with the kindle version you can go ahead with that particular version as well but this is that one book that i can wholeheartedly recommend wherein uh, it kind of touches upon what all you require to understand github actions plus knowingly or unknowingly they've kind of created a good book that you can use for the github actions certification as well so this is a out and out course that i believe data scientist developers should kind of pick up it's not something that is only restricted to devops i think as software professionals or as data professionals there are instances where we require automation in our overall workflow uh, which is where i think it's very fruitful to understand how github actions can kind of manipulate your workflow and kind of give you the solution without you relying on any other cloud platform provider as well so this is how amazing github actions is and this is how amazing the certification experience has been for me so far and i've also laid down the foundation in terms of how you can start preparing for github actions I hope you found this video informative. If you do like the content that I post on my channel, it would be super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science, machine learning, DevOps, ML ops and the other topics that I cover. Thank you so much for watching the video.